Hi everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to another Lawn Fawn Lovers YouTube collaboration. This month's theme was masculine, so I have tried to make my card look as masculine as possible. I find them really hard to do. But anyway, I've used my reveal wheel and the How You Been stamp set as well to make this cute little card, which is really quite easy to do. So I've started by just cutting out my reveal wheel um, main part from a white piece of card. I'm just going to run that through my big shot and I actually want my reveal wheel uh, gap to be at the bottom so I just flipped it over. Of course this means that your stitching is on the wrong side so I just got one of my stitched rectangle dies and I've just laid that over the top and run it through my big shot again so that I get a stitched rectangle, the stitching on the right side. I needed a bit of craft card as well for the base so I just put that in at the same time and ran it all through. Now I've grabbed a brick um, brick wall embossing folder, I'm pretty sure that's a Sizzix one and I'm just going to run that piece through to give it that brick wall look. And then I've got a craft card base that I'm going to put that on for the base, so like so. Now I'm going to do the reveal wheel and I saw an Instagram card by Jennifer Project Cupcake and I will link that below where she used an acetate wheel and I decided that I was going to try and stamp on the acetate wheel. I didn't want to use stays on ink because I'm not sure about using that on my um, stamp so I'll show you what I did. Anyway, I'm stamping out the jar and the lid from the How You Been stamp set and the jelly beans. The colouring for this I'm not going to show in today's video. I followed a card by uh, Sandy Allnock and her colouring of the jar and whatnot as well. So I will link that in the description below if you're interested in uh, the colouring. Just sticking that little piece of craft on to my piece and now I'm going to cut that bit out of the jar. Now that little piece that I've taken out I need to stick onto the front of my card in the right place. So I'm just going to glue that on where it needs to go and then of course my other piece will fit over the top and the reveal wheel behind that. So now I'm just going over with a pencil on the reveal wheel and you can just see the markings. It was a little difficult but you can see it. Um, the pencil does stay on the acetate a bit and then I really covered the acetate a lot in some powder, um, embossing powder first, then stamped in Versamark and then heat my heat tool really well before I put it onto the acetate because you can see it does warp the acetate a little bit but once you put it in the actual reveal wheel um, card sort of thing it, it really doesn't matter too much. Now I'm going to use a small brad to put my acetate reveal wheel or attach it where it should be and I cut a little circle from white card to add to the reveal wheel. With my brad I put a, should have put the round bit towards the back so that um, you didn't get a little round lump showing on the front of the card. Um, wasn't too bad but if I was doing it again I would probably put the brad so that the flat bits were on the at the front. Now I'm just working out where that needs to go, putting some 3D foam on that little wheel piece on the back and then pressing down so that the wheel attaches to the base card and just checking that it's all in line and going to work. And then I'm going to cover that other piece with 3D foam and remove the backing and then place that over top. Just make sure your 3D foam isn't anywhere near your wheel so it doesn't stop it moving. It's a really good idea to watch the Lawn Fawn video on the reveal wheel because it gives you instructions of how to do it all. Now I've stamped out some of the sentiments on uh, with some Versamark ink and white embossed on black card and then backed them with a bit of craft and now I'm sticking the lid onto the side. And that's the card. So pretty quick and simple today. Hope you enjoyed it and then you'll join us again next time. 